Yo guys, it's the last three days to subscribe to the website for your chance to win an Xbox Series S or a PlayStation 5 Digital this month. It's our way of saying thank you to you guys for the insane support we've had since we launched Foot Trading a year ago, pretty much today, as I record this. What you get for your money, £10 a month is Tier 1. That gets you access to buying and selling prices for Icons, Shadow and Hunter specials and Silver Cars, as well as Thursday Flips, which have been incredible recently. Tier 2 gets you live filters, chem style filters, UCL cards and our incredibly powerful area which is fluctuations. A lot of the good stuff you see me doing videos is based upon fluctuations and how many coins you can make with those. They are absolutely insane. So what is not to love, you can subscribe to the website, make millions of coins, join the Discord and meet new people and have the chance to win a next generation console. You have nothing to lose so get involved. Check out foottrading.co.uk but for now let's get into the video. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a new video with me, Fuzzball40. As always, if you're new around here, make sure you do subscribe down below. And make sure you turn your notifications on so you never miss an upload. You get three a day on this channel. The morning, this video, League SBC Method to Glory, using this method to craft players and packs basically for free. If you want to learn how to do this method, click the link down below. It literally is the how-to guide on this. It's absolutely brilliant. It's so much fun. Um, and we've crafted Makaleli and Balak recently by doing it. Evening video is always a trading video, and this week, hopefully, hoping to start the series of trading to Prime Hullet. Um, it just depends on time. I've got quite a lot on this week, so I'm going to see how that goes, basically. Um, and the midnight content is a mixture of picks, packs, upgrades, uh, my thoughts on the game, loads of different stuff, and a lot of time trading tips there as well to help you guys make coins. So make sure you do check that out. But this is League SBC Method of Glory, like I say. Um, and I'm recording it past 6pm because I thought I'd do it from 6pm onwards. And the content for Sunday is absolutely sensational, in my opinion. It is brilliant content from the day. So, to start off with, we get the daily SBC again. These SBCs are cheap to do. Um, I'm a big fan of them. I don't mind those. 81 plus picks are back in the game. Um, and we've got five rares this time and six non-rares, which is fantastic. I'm a big fan of that from me. I'm really, really pleased with that. 81 to 87 um, on the game, which is two rare players, players that are gold. Now, I'm probably not going to do them too much. It's going to be more of the 81 plus picks than anything because they're OP. This I love. It's a punt SBC, it's going to cost a bit of coin, but it's an 86 plus double for an 84 rated team. So we'll be doing that today. I'm a huge fan of that. I think it's very good. It's a punt, but if it comes off, it comes off very well. Um, and then we also got Meza Urzil, and this card looks utter filth. Now, we'll start with the elephant in the room. Medium attacking work rates, low defensive work, work rates. Cool. But four star skill moves, five star weak foot. You guys know I love good weak foot, and what a card that is. Great pace, great shooting, brilliant passing, brilliant dribbling. Great, very good stamina, solid stamina, great strength, great heading. I'm going to be doing this card today for certain. Um, it's an 83 uh, with the team of the week, an 84 weight squad. He's going to be going into my team without a shadow of a doubt. I'm a massive fan of that card. I think it's a brilliant, brilliant SBC from EA. Uh, people won't like it. That's fine. That's up to them. What I have done so far today, though, is go and go basically go through loads of the minor league SBCs. We looked at the Pro League, we looked at the Eredivisie, and we looked at... So I think I believe we looked at I think it might have been Championship. No, it wasn't Championship. Um, but some of the minor leagues, basically. So we've got a mixture of packs here, just standard generic packs. So we're going to open up them. If, I, if anything good gets opened up near them, I'll show you it. And if we get a walkout or anything like that, I'll come back to you guys. But this episode is really going to be about completing some stuff on the game. My club is stacked with fodder right now. So it'll be good to get some of that used, get a couple of players in the club, get that 86 plus double done as well. But I'll get on with it now. I'll be right back. All right, guys, the silver packs have been very nice um, up to now. And it's just got even better because we've got ourselves a West Brom centre back. So 29,000 coins is currently sat basically 30,000 coins because it'll come off in a second. So West Brom centre back is a massive dub. We'd love to see those. Loads more silver packs to open. I will see you soon. All right, guys. And the final pack of silvers, uh, Bane, which is a very good card. It's very expensive. There's a couple of decent undercuts in it at the moment, but they'll go. He's normally a 4K card easily. Uh, the packs that are left are all pretty meh packs. So nothing, none of these packs are special. So I'm not going to make you sit through these packs. The plan that I've got at the moment, I'm going to get these opened up. I've kept a lot of duplicates on my transfer pile that were gold. Um, so we'll start off, I think, and kick off with some 81 plus picks, maybe four or five of those. Then we'll look at getting the 86 plus double done, and then we'll look at getting Mes Mesut Ozil done. I'm definitely going to do that card. I'm a massive fan of it. I think it's fantastic. So I'm going to uh, get into that. But again, I want to make this point. When I moan at EA, I've got a reason to moan at EA because they do a lot wrong on this game this year. When they get it right, I'll always say it, and today is a fantastic day for content. It's a massive dub, so GG's to the content team for that. But I'm going to go ahead now, open these up. Anything worth you guys seeing, I'll show you. Uh, otherwise, we'll see you next with the uh, player picks. See you then. Well, hi guys, so it's definitely worth something worth showing you in this pack. Um, I think it's a jumbo gold pack, and we just packed 87 Robertson, um, which is a massive, massive dub. Very expensive card, very good piece of fodder there. Uh, massively happy with that. That's going to be very good for whatever grind we start doing at some point soon. I don't know if I'll use them at any point today. Uh, but we'll go from there. Is Ndombele tradable? He is tradable. Pop him up there. But yeah, it's a huge job. Andy Robertson in the Jumbo Gold Pack. I'll be right back. 
Pretty solid pull from a Primo Electron pack, Jose Callahan. I don't know if it's tradable. I don't think it is tradable. Um, but I've always seen a pretty decent pull. He is a duplicate, though. He is, he is tradable, though. So that's a big dub. We can sell him if need be. Mitch can go up there. Marciano. Is he worth anything at all? We'll listen to one just see what happens. Uh, but yeah, decent one there from, from that. I think we've got... I don't know how many packs left now. We've got five packs left now, which are all pretty meh packs still, so I'm not going to bother showing you them unless we need to show you them. Uh, but yeah, we will be back with some 81 plus picks. I've got a lot of duplicate uh, golds sat in transfer pile that I saved for this exact reason. So we'll get those used. Be right back. All right, guys. So duplicates on the bench. We've got seven player picks to do. Um, I've still got a couple more golds on the bench. I have like double duplicates that I can use if need be later on should we require them. Our first one's going to be Higuain to get us going. Um, the second pick is we'll take Thalvin here I think so that's two okay ones so far nothing special the third pick is a lovely oh whoa, whoa, what did I do here I'm gonna go Loris I think my Loris is tradable so I'm gonna go Loris I could be wrong on that I'm not dubs I eat some Loris we take those which are very nice um we'll go where we haven't got Madison I don't think there's much bother in going for one that's low rate if we ain't got them um and then 84 Martinez is very nice so far these have been very solid good amount of fodder from an 87 and 84 we're then gonna get another team of the week useless because we ain't going to put them realistically in terms of anything else. And we'll go with Mendy. But for leftover stuff from my club, an 87, an 84, an 83, and a team of the week, I cannot complain one bit from those picks. Um, but I'm going to head over now, and I think we'll start off with the 86 plus double, um, or maybe the daily SPC. So have a look at that. We'll go from there. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So the 86 plus double, um, this is the team we're submitting for it. Um, but basically perfect for Kem. We've already got Galaxy, Callihon, uh, Acerbi, and Vertonghen on the transfer pile. So we're using those for that reason. And the rest just sort of stuck in there to make up chemistry. Um, so that's perfect. We're going to submit that. Get two 86 plus rated rare players from these. I'll probably not two 86s, but either way. So I, I like it as an SBC. I think it's quite cool. Um, but yeah, so there's that one there. So obviously anything we get here could potentially be fodder for o Ozil, which is fine. Uh, we also went ahead and did the daily SBC for two rare gold player pack. And then the 75 plus rated rare player you get for completing the daily objective. Again, I'm a, I'm a, really, I'm a really big fan of that. For what is very easy... Um, SBC to complete, you get a two rare gold players pack, and at the end of those four SBCs, you're going to get a mega pack. So, to me, that's that's pretty decent content. I, I quite like it. I think it's simplistic, but it's, it's it's a way that you sort of just get rewarded for being on the game and doing an SBC. I think they could take it further than they do, um, in the way that they could make those objectives a little bit better. So, let's say you complete four of them over the course of the week, um, you get a a mega pack. Complete five of them over the course of a week, you get a I don't know, a 50k pack, for example. I think they could really extend that and make it better than, than it technically is at the moment. Uh, but two 86 plus rated rare players help enough to really stack high rated fodder in the club now. It's obviously going to be a walkout. If we could get something decent from this, I'd be very, very happy. It's just going to be a standard walkout. Um, it's going to be Spanish, which is never a good sign. Centre back, that's a good sign. It's going to be PK, I think it's 87. This isn't too bad, 86 PK. So it's going to be 286s, isn't it? I don't know PK is 86 this year. So it is going to be 286s. I'm going to guess Sommer as next to PK here. No, Muller. I'll take that. That's not too bad. It is what it is. If you get a foot birthday from this, then fantastic. But if you don't, then you don't. It is what it is. Um, I like it as an SBC. I really, really like it as an SBC. I think it's pretty cool. Um, but I am going to go and compete that Urzel card. I'm a huge fan of it. I think it's brilliant. Uh, so we we'll go compete that, and I'll be right back. All right, guys. This is the 84 team done for um, for, for Mesut Urzel. We've done the 83 already, which isn't too bad. That Muller we just got, gone straight into it. The voice we got the other day, gone into it. Other than that, I'm pretty happy with that team. And I think this is a very nice card indeed. I'm, I'm a big fan of it. If, if I show you it again, he's going to go into my team, almost certainly. But for me, again, it's just another squad building option. I can link into Balak. I think I've decided for the rest of the game, I'm not going to make you watch him walk out because it's stupid. I think I've decided for this game, I'm going to enjoy using different players and trying to see what we can do. But again, great pace, great shooting, fantastic passing, brilliant dribbling, good stamina. It's a very good card for the price. The medium low is a little bit of a letdown, but five-star weak foot. Listen, we all know I love a five-star weak foot player, so... I am very, very happy with that. The other thing I just thought about as well is this card links into that Podolti card, which is also good value. And I like that from EA. They're giving people different squad building options. They're giving you cheap enough SBCs to make quite a competitive team. This Mesut Ozil, for some people, will be game-changing. He genuinely will be game-changing. I've competed him for no cost to myself whatsoever, um, which is massive. This is why League SBC is so overpowered, because you can just complete cards you want to complete and not worry about it. But we have a small prime goal players pack. And the icon pack just ended the rare or mid... Uh, sorry, the mid or prime icon pack has just ended. I want to see quickly if EA have put anything on the game at 7pm to replace it. I highly doubt it, but I do just want to see. We'll pop those cards up there because they later on can be put into picks for more fodder for the club. But either way, very happy about 87 Robertson, 87 Luis today, um, which is very, very nice. Remix has, mix has nothing in it of note, unless there's a really expensive silver in here. To be fair, that, the, the, the centre-back's quite expensive. Um, I'll take that, it's not too bad. 
We'll send him there. These guys can go up there to be used as player picks next time. Um, for the next episode, we're going to be looking back at the leagues again and see if we can compete more packs. Um, I've been waiting with the fodder for something like Urzel to come along, a card that I really like the look of. Um, and that's perfect to me. He's absolutely brilliant content and I'm a massive fan of it. Um, the rest of the stuff here, I'm not sure about these two things. A bit now. But no, nothing new on the game from, from EA at 7pm. But that is a massive dub for me. I think it is fantastic content for me. Very solid content for me. And I'm very happy with that. Um, but that's the end of the video. If you are new around here, as always, make sure you subscribe down below. Make sure you turn your notifications on so you never miss an upload. But for now, I am out. Peace out. I'll speak to you soon.